For years, the Wankel engine has piqued the curiosity of motorcycle manufacturers as they explore how to optimize the advantages of this engine compared to conventional ones. The Wankel engine itself was first invented by the German engineer Felix Wankel in 1954. Felix Wankel began his research in the early 1950s at NSU Motrenwerke AG, also known as NSU, and the first working prototype was successfully developed in 1957. Initially, the Wankel engine was intended for various industrial applications and vehicles. The initial concept was to replace conventional piston engines in various types of vehicles, including cars, motorcycles, and even airplanes. Its main advantage was a simpler design with fewer moving parts, which was expected to result in a more reliable and space-saving engine. However, the Wankel engine also caught the military's attention due to its potential use in combat vehicles and aircraft. During World War II, the development of this engine was supported by the German military, which saw its potential to provide an advantage on the battlefield. The first motorcycle to apply the Wankel engine to a two-wheeled vehicle was the Motorrad Chopau. This motorcycle was powered by a 175 cubic centimeter Wankel engine, capable of producing 24 horsepower, twice the power of the existing 175 cubic centimeter two-stroke engines at that time. The engine was promising, but unfortunately, MZ could not overcome the issues of rotor tip seal failure and the fact that their rotary engines ran very hot. Fixing these problems would have required a significant investment, making rotary engines unable to replace two-stroke engines at that time. After that, many other manufacturers tried their luck with the Wankel engine, including Fichtel and Sachs, which acquired the German motorcycle brand Hercules. They created the Hercules W2000 motorcycle in 1974, becoming the world's first mass-produced rotary motorcycle. The Hercules W2000 was powered by a 294 cubic centimeter Wankel engine with a BMW R27 transmission. The front suspension used Cariani telescopic forks paired with a swing arm rear shock. It featured a unique twin down tube frame design that supported the engine underneath. The motorcycle appeared ordinary in design until you realized it was powered by a Wankel engine, which was uncommon in motorcycles at the time. However, don't be mistaken, the 294 cubic centimeter Wankel engine in the Hercules W2000 could be equivalent to a piston engine with a capacity of nearly 900 cubic centimeters. This is because the rotary engine completes three full auto cycles, intake, compression, combustion, exhaust, per revolution, allowing the small capacity Wankel engine to produce power equivalent to much larger piston engines. However, test results raised skepticism about the engine's future, as its initial output was only around 23 horsepower. This was about 10 horsepower, less than the 325 cubic centimeter twin cylinder four stroke engine from Honda. Additionally, the torque produced was 24.5 pound feet, which was less impressive by motorcycle standards at the time. Although the power did not match the complexity of the 294 cubic centimeter Wankel engine in the Hercules W2000, and its expensive parts, the engine produced minimal vibration and offered a smooth riding experience. The Wankel engine is known for its minimal vibration, providing greater comfort for riders compared to conventional piston engines. Despite requiring special maintenance and expensive parts, the uniqueness and innovation of the Wankel engine continued to attract automotive enthusiasts. The downside of this motorcycle was its frame design which positioned the engine hanging from the motorcycle frame like a vintage airplane fuel tank. This unique twin down tube frame design made the 294 cubic centimeter Wankel engine appear somewhat disproportionate and prominent compared to other motorcycles. Nonetheless, the design offered advantages in stability and weight distribution. 
Weighing 391 pounds, this motorcycle was more suitable for touring due to its minimal vibrations. However, it is worth noting that the Wankel engine on the Hercules W2000 was very loud. To illustrate, when you start this motorcycle, it feels like starting a vintage airplane engine that roars. Moreover, if you push this engine beyond the recommended RPM, be prepared for a host of problems. One of the most common issues is rotor tip seal failure, which can cause the engine to lose compression and eventually stop working. Additionally, running the engine at high RPM can cause overheating, damaging other engine components. Therefore, it is crucial to follow the recommended RPM limits to ensure the reliability and longevity of the Wankel engine. For fuel mixtures, early production models used a pre-mix fuel, but models from 1976 onwards were equipped with an injection system for added convenience. The best oil for this engine was Shell Rotella SX30, but this oil was not available in the United States at that time. This also posed a challenge for owners outside of the United States, as it was difficult to find the recommended oil. It is known that sales of the Hercules W2000 motorcycle reached only about 1,784 units between 1974 and 1977. The low sales figures were due to various factors, including unimpressive engine performance, the need for special injection oil, and various technical challenges faced by the owners. This made the motorcycle less popular in the market at the time. With a price tag of $1,900 at that time, equivalent to about $12,734 when adjusted for inflation today, it added to the burden for potential buyers. The high price was also one of the factors for its lack of popularity, especially given the many technical challenges and maintenance required. With all its uniqueness, the Wankel engine continues to intrigue motorcycle and car manufacturers. One of the companies still optimistic about this engine is Mazda. While many other manufacturers have tried and given up, Mazda remains committed to developing Wankel engine technology. They are known for their RX-7 and RX-8 models that use rotary engines, and they continue to conduct research and development to improve the efficiency and reliability of these engines. Mazda even released concept models like the Mazda RX Vision, demonstrating their optimism for the future of the Wankel engine. This technology continues to attract attention due to its unique design and ability to generate significant power from a relatively small engine. So, are you still optimistic about the development of the Wankel engine in the future?